Hello everyone, it's PTG Gobbo here, back with a Guild Ball Hall unboxing. So this is all a load of stuff that I got cheap from eBay. And wanted to open it up and show you guys what's actually in the box, because I think the Guild Ball game is still a fantastic game. And just the quality of the miniatures and also the... Even the cardboard of the box is just a really, really good example of a well-made game. So let's get him open. So this is one of the two pitches that come in the in the box game. And again, it's got the Masons and the Brewers, which are the two different teams that come in it. And again, the detail is just lovely. All the little tokens, all the little cards and effects that come with the teams. And again, the attention to detail that Steamforge went through with this is brilliant. You've then got the health dials, everything that you need in the box. Hopefully myself and Lucky Sixes and Hyper G will be getting some games in with Guild Ball. Um, and then showing you guys what we're doing with it. And then this is the miniatures inside. So I've managed to quickly paint up the brewers in here. But we'll get them out of the box and we'll show you them. So it comes with two balls, so one for the Masons, one for the Brewers. And then going through the players, these are all the, the Masons team. And again, the detail for just basic plastic miniatures is, is quite nice. They've got quite a steampunky, Victorian-esque sort of feel. Um, although it is fantasy, the setting. Really cool. Guild Ball as a game is based more around soccer rather than um, Blood Bowl, like American football, for example. But it's still a game where you can decide to either beat up your opponent or score goals. But it's very, very tactical, and I, I quite like it. And here's the Brewers team, which I've managed to give a, a quick paint job on. So we've got the captain, Tapper. I'm going for the traditional yellow. Then you've got Stave, who's a, a a chonky lad throwing a beer barrel. I can't remember his name. I think it's Hooper. Spigot, who's about to glass someone by the look of it. Friday. And then the mascot, which I think is called Scum, that one. A nice little cat. And then the, the Brewer's Ball there. Again, two full teams come in the box, which I think is really nice. And this is the terrain pack that I managed to get with it as well. So the Masons and the Brewers. So again, we're going to open him up in a second and have a look, see what comes with that one. But we're going to hopefully get a full pitch on the board. And then some videos of it all coming soon. Okay, so we've got the, the little tower in the centre there. So again, Guild Ball is a little bit different to like Blood Bowl, for example. So it does have terrain, it has obstacles, mud, walls. So you can still fight around and play football around it. There's some barrels and some crates and things. Really cool detail. There's some more. We've then got a massive brewer's barrel there. So again, that can possibly be used as a goal, maybe. And then they've got a mason's block of granite, which is always needed on a battlefield, or football pitch even. And then some of the mud effects. So again, some of the water effects in there would be really cool. 
all like the mud and slipping over. Yeah, the detail is lovely. And that's the base for the tree. One tree. I think it'd be cool with all the cloth that's on the tree there to paint it in both the brewers and the masons sort of colours. Similar to sort of like a, a match day sort of decoration. First of the teams we've got, we managed to get the Blacksmith Guild, the Forge from Steel box. Um, these ones here, the, the, the artwork is lovely, but also again, the models are just really, really nice. Um, the person I bought them from had uh, Zenithal Prime them as well, which is good. And it comes with all the tokens you need, all the different rules cards, which are also incidentally available to download directly from the website now for free, including all the rules. Loads of different bit, the health dials as well. Here we go, so there's the goal for the blacksmiths, all zenithal primed or ready to paint. Again, for plastic models, they're, they're quite heavy and they're, the detail on them is lovely. That's Anvil. Cool looking. I think that one's Cinder. I could be wrong. Again, I haven't used the blacksmith at all, so it would be nice to get them all painted and maybe either use them in a game or. Yeah, he's cool. Not sure if he's got enough swords there. He looks like a golem sort of thing. Very cool. And a crossbow. Got to have a crossbow at a football match. And just again, fully armoured. You've got the aprons for like the blacksmithing work and stuff like that. So, really cool. And even the balls made of metal. Yeah, that's cool. Then you've got all the different cards that come with it. I do like the artwork of Guild Ball. It's um, a bit different from the likes of Games Workshop where everything is just looks as is. But it looks a little bit cartoony, which I think is quite nice. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And hopefully we will see you soon. Take care.